So over the last 10 years, there have been enormous changes running through the computer industry. We've seen the web, and we've seen the web transitioning through to cloud computing. We've seen multi-core computing. We've seen the rise of social computing. Yet the way that programmers have been working with computers, with the uh, programming languages they've been using, in many ways hasn't changed in the last uh, 10 or 20 years. Programmers today have to explain to the machine how to get things done. But we don't want that. We want them to be uh, describing to the machine what gets done. Let's take an analogy. When you go into a coffee shop, you don't instruct the person behind the counter exactly how to make a coffee. You don't tell them to do the grinding and uh, make, put it through the espresso machine and do the milk and foam the milk and at the same time you're getting the cup ready and then once everything's in order, bring the coffee over. You operate at a more declarative level. You say, I'd like a coffee, please. And that's how we want programmers to work too. We want them describing solutions to problems, to the, these modern problems, in simple and declarative ways. Your coffee, sir. Thank you. So we're not just talking about programmers here, we're also talking about analysts and scientists and mathematicians and uh, designers. And all these people need to be able to describe solutions to problems in terms of the way that they are thinking. They need to be able to tell the computer simply what they want to achieve. So at Microsoft Research, we've developed a new way of talking to computers, and that's a programming language called f -sharp. And f -sharp is a new functional programming language and it's simple, and it's succinct, and it's highly expressive, and it's got inbuilt constructs for describing solutions to parallel programming problems and working with data from the web and working with data from the cloud. So with f -sharp, people can write simple code to solve complex problems. The game that you see in the background is called The Path of Go. It is the first game on the Xbox 360 that actually runs f -sharp code. Go is said to have originated over 4,000 years ago in China. The game is deceptively simple to play. It only takes minutes to learn uh, the rules, but you can keep improving your skill over a lifetime. It is one of the most complex and deep board games there is. Many people think of chess as a challenge to artificial intelligence. However, the strongest chess player today is not a human, it's a computer. The story for Go is completely different. By far, the strongest players today are still humans. If you think about a chess game, in a typical situation, you will have about 20 or 30 legal moves you can make. That allows you to build brute force strategies that actually go ahead and explore all of the possible fictitious games that you could play from any point on. If you were to try to do the same for Go, you would miserably fail. In Go, you are going to have about 200 moves you can make. So the universe of possible games of Go that you can play is enormous. It is way larger than the number of atoms there is in the universe. And so if you wanted to let a computer explore all that universe of different games you could play, it would take literally millions and millions of years. Writing the AI engine in f -sharp was a very straightforward process. It was literally translating the mathematical algorithmic ideas into code in a very, very natural uh, way using the immense expressive power that the language has to offer. Today, we are able to ship uh, a game of Go that offers a very, very compelling AI. In fact, I haven't been able to beat it myself yet. In f -sharp, we've made a programming language that not only developers, but architects and analysts and mathematicians and scientists can use. And we want to give these people the tools to solve complex problems using their intelligence and their creativity and their imagination.